welcome back programmers in the fourth video of sk learn series technically this is the fifth video if we count this linear regression video which is the very important one link is in the description if you forgot to watch this video just check out now in the today's section we are going to talk about svm classification or you can say support vector machine classification so why support vector classification because of its simplicity and interpretability it is a commonly used algorithm so, so let's talk about what is support vector machine so you can see the structure of the svm in here we got x1 and x2 and we got the data this is our circle data and this is our square data now to separate the square and the circle data we just created the line or you can say linear regression line this is not the actual linear regression line this is called the hyperplane in svm so we separate our data this is our square and this is our circle or you can say blue and green now in the right side we got blue and in the left side we got green one now you can see in the green one we got the nearest data is this and in the blue one we got the nearest data is this so you can just create the line in this nearest data and in this nearest data so this is called support vector so this is called support vector or you can say support vector machine svm so that's how you can create this support vector now why we need support vector machine we are going to talk in later but first you can see in here we got the three in line because the first one is this nearest data and the second one is this nearest data we draw a single fit line and in here we draw a single fit line and this is the middle line main line or you can say linear regression line or you can say officially hyperplane now in this side this called positive hyperplane and in this side you can call negative hyperplane or you can say this is the d minus and this is the d plus now we want to find the margin in here so how we are going to find the margin so the margin is d minus plus d plus this is the equation d minus plus d plus okay so we got the maximum margin now you are thinking why we draw line like this why can't we draw line like this yes you can draw li line like this or even you can draw line like this but there is one problem if you draw line like this let's first talk about what if we draw line like this so let's say this is our hyperplane and because of this hyperplane we got the positive svm or you can say hyperplane and we got the negative hyperplane in here because the nearest you can see here we got the positive line and we got the negative line so we got the d minus and d plus in here too but in here you can see our margin is too much short or you can say too much lesser than this margin because if we create the line like this you can see d minus plus d plus is less than this margin so the rule is if margin is maximum we want our maximum margin to get our accurate perfect model so that's why we need to draw line like this if we draw line like this we got the maximum margin in here you can see the margin is too much low compared to this margin so now you got the point and again margin equal to d minus plus d plus or you can say negative hyperplane plus positive hyperplane and why we need support vector machine because we need to classify these two data square one and circle one okay we just created a boundary for green one and blue one so that's how we can use the svm now let's implement this svm now you are thinking i don't want to go in the math I don't know what is d minus I don't know what is d plus how to define margin I don't like math so don't worry because you just want to do is call the function of sklearn and it is automatically going to predict the value let's try let's use the irish data set to use the support vector machine now let's import the svm from sklearn dot svm import 
SVC. This is the support vector classifier. We are gonna today just use this support vector classifier. This is the function of support vector machine and SVC is the capital and I used other library for do some mathematical expression and visualize the graph and then I just created the X and Y of iris data and the target and then I created the X test and X train y train and y test i just split the data using the train test split function from sql and dot model selection now we are going to use the regular estimator a support vector machine so i'm going to create the clf variable equal to svc and in here i'm going to pass the two variable because i want to use the linear model to use the svc so i'm going to use the kernel equal to linear kernel and the random state equal to 1 now the random state is the fixed to reproduce to same result with the same code letter now you have imported a support vector classifier from the svm module and then we created the instant of linear svc the supervised model in sklearn implements a fit x and y method which train the model and return trained model just like linear model so let's try so this is our model so i'm gonna change clf into model equal to svc and then i'm gonna use the model dot fit and then i'm gonna pass the x train and the y train you can see you got the svc kernel equal to linear model and random state equal to one so this is our model and now we are gonna predict the value of x and y so predicted y equal to model dot predict we are going to use the predict function to predict the value of y and i'm going to just simply pass in here x test so that's how you can got the predicted y now let's print the predicted y you can see you got this value so this is our predicted y now let's plot this value you can see we got the model like this and i'm going to copy this and create the plotting before the predicted y so you can see this is the x test and y test so the model is before prediction is like this kind of different i know some different but our predicted model is like this so that's how you can use this support vector machine so far you have done all of this step but the last step is to exa examine the model performance the load a scorer from the matrix module now let's use this to find the comparison of prediction with the held out test target so now let's use the accuracy score and for that just import the sql and dot matrix accuracy score and then use the accuracy score and pass the y test and y predicted so you can see we got the 0.763157894 and so on so this number so this is our loss so that's how you can find the loss and that's how you can use the support vector machine so this is just a one function of support vector machine we are going to talk what is the different function of support vector machine in the later video so that's the short video how to use the svm so see you guys in the next video till then subscribe my youtube channel share this video to other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest update so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video thank you